What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to build a notification component in React where we're going to use GraphQL subscriptions with the Apollo client. Every time that a new video is created, we're going to receive a push notification with the data of that video. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, let's get started by creating a new React application. npx create React app, React Apollo. Okay, let's clean this. And now let's send it to the project folder. And here we need to install a few libraries for Apollo client and GraphQL. So npm install dash dash save. And first we need to install Apollo link WS and subscriptions transport WS. These two libraries will allow us to use GraphQL subscriptions and receive push notifications through WebSockets in our Apollo client for React. Okay, next we are going to install a library that will make it easy to set up the Apollo client in our React application. npm install dash dash save Apollo boost. Okay. And finally, we're going to install two libraries that will allow us to interact with a GraphQL API and parse GraphQL queries, mutations, and subscriptions. So npm install dash dash save GraphQL and GraphQL tag. Okay, now let's open Visual Studio Code. First, I'm going to create a new file. Apollo setup. And here I'm going to paste a boilerplate. That is basically the configuration of the Apollo client. Here is the WebSocket URL with the reconnect option. Here is the HTTP link. So the WebSocket link will be used for subscriptions and push notifications. And the HTTP link will be used for queries and mutations. And here, this link is basically a way to define that if the operation is a subscription, we are going to use this WebSocket link and in any other case, if it's a query or a mutation, we are going to use this HTTP link, and that's what we are passing here. And also to this Apollo client, we're passing an in-memory cache. That's a, another required attribute that we need to pass here. Now let's create a new component. Components. And this component will be new video notification dot js so first i'm going to create a new constant that will be the subscription subscribe video added equals to graphql and this is the subscription where we are passing the title so every time that a new video with this title is created, we're going to receive a push notification in our React client. And now I'm going to create the component. I'm going to use a narrow function for that. Const new video notification equals, and this is a narrow function. And here I'm going to use a hook provided by the Apollo library for React. And this hook is use subscription. That receives the query. And the variable. In our case, the variable is the title. And we're going to assign my new video.
I'm going to import this hook. Import use subscription from, and this is at Apollo React hooks. And here I need to also import this from GraphQL tag. Import GQL from GraphQL tag. Okay, and here I'm going to deconstruct the value returned by this hook. const, and I'm going to receive three values. The data, an error if there are any errors, and loading that is going to return a value if we don't receive a push notification. So here I need to handle all these values. So if we don't get any new push notifications, I'm going to show this low a loading message like this. I need to return this. I need to import React. Import React from React. I need to handle the error if error and I'm going to return error and I'm going to show the message error dot message like this and if I receive any data this means that I received a push notification, so I'm going to show that notification here. Return. And this is going to be a div. I'm going to use an H1 here. Let's say new video, new video added. And I'm going to show the attributes of the video. I'm going to show the ID of the video. I'm going to show the title of the video and the URL of the video. Okay, and this will be data that video added that ID. And here this is data dot video added dot title. And here this is data dot video added dot URL. Okay, and I'm going to add some styles. First for the divs, I'm going to set some padding from the top, padding top, and I'm going to center the text, text align. And I'm going to create a new class, deep dot notification. And I'm going to assign that class here. This will be class name. And I'm going to grab the class name from here. And here I'm going to assign height 200 pixels, 
with three hundred pixels margin auto text align justify padding ten pixels and background color let's say light blue okay now let's go to the main component of the application and I'm going to remove everything from here and I'm going to remove this and here I'm going to use a special tag that is Apollo provider where I'm going to pass the client this is Apollo client and I need to import this client from this Apollo setup file so this is import Apollo client from Apollo setup like this and this Apollo client I need to import it from Apollo React Hooks. So this is import from Apollo. Actually, at Apollo slash React Hooks. To close this, and here I'm going to include the component that we created. This is new video notification. And I forgot to export the component from here. So this is export default new video notification. Here we go. Okay. And now let's run this. npm start okay and here I forgot to install an important library that is react hooks so I'm going to install it npm install dash 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 save at Apollo slash react hooks okay and now let's run our react client npm start okay and here I forgot to yeah this is variables and the title is one of these variables like this and now yeah now it's loading so if I create a new video with this title my new video that is the same title that we are passing here for the subscription. Here I'm going to receive the push notification. If I add a video with a different title, let's say my new video one, if I run this, I'm not going to get any notifications. But if I create another one, let's say 444 and user ID four, if I run this, now we're going to see that we have this new notification here. And we can also inspect the notification. I'm going to refresh this. So here is where we have this WebSocket connection. And here we have the messages. So if I create a new video, let's say 555, five, five, user ID 5. If I run this, as we can see here, we get the new notification with the data here. 
ID4, the title, and the URL. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.